<laughs> Yo, did you see the Kanye West interview with Sway? No. Wait, wait, wait. No, I didn't. Wow. Though he was bugging out. He was uh, talking to Sway. Oh, it's some other interview with Mac Miller. He was talking about turtles. Yo. We are near. <laughs> we are near. Hi there. I'm Danny Bostic, aka AR Danny, and I am a hip hop artist. I'm Alex Estevez, aka Alex C. Styles, and I'm a hip hop R&B artist. I like to rap about what teenagers go through every day. Like recently, I did a song that talks about how people go Hollywood when they get Facebook famous or get a little publicity and think they're too good for everyone. Sometimes I wonder if I even cross your mind. Now I hit you up and I'm wasting my time. The day came through, hit you up, you a disaster. Hi, how you been, hun? Just calling you Casper. Yeah, I want to be Facebook famous, but I won't go hard for it and change to get a couple thousand likes on a picture. People rap about different things. Some people are more street and have been through stuff and rap about it. But nowadays, people are talking about drugs. I hear a lot about that. I also read that when you're a signed artist, the label pressures you to rap about what's popping. The bigger the business grows, the more you're going to have people looking at what sells to mass amounts of people. That's my teacher. His name is Alex, too. And he's a big time expert when it comes to the history of hip hop. When money gets into anything, what you're going to have is you're not going to have the purest form of that art form. That, that art form is going to change. Even when we talk to other students, they know this is a basic fact of the hip hop game. You rap about what's going to get you paid. So they're trying to get the money by singing what people want. Some people are going to be singing about Molly and all of that. You're not going to come with like, oh, be peaceful and whatever. Like you're going to say broke. These days, the popular drugs to rap about in hip-hop is Molly. Yeah, Molly looks like a crack rock, and it's supposed to be a pure form of MDMA. But like ecstasy, you never know what you're really getting. It's mainly seen at parties, and it's known to make the turn up. Meaning you get crazy and very sweaty. Pop the Molly, I'm sweating. Woo! Pop the Molly, I'm sweating. Woo! Mama always told That's Trinidad J. He raps about Molly a lot. And I wonder if these artists are really about that life popping Molly and other drugs. I ain't gonna lie, but by the way he looks, I think he really does that stuff. I mean, he looks like someone just took a homeless guy and put some Versace on him. I don't rap about Molly's. I don't rap about Molly's either. Ah, uh, wait. What about that song you just dropped with D Rock? Yo, why would you expose me like that? Okay, okay, I'm guilty. I do have a song that mentions Molly. But that's D Rock's line, and he doesn't even do Molly's. So, why does he rap about Molly's if he doesn't do them? Because talking about Molly's is hot right now, and he does trap music. So, for those who don't know what trap music is, it's a type of hip-hop that talks a lot about violence and drugs. Yeah, and you're never going to hear a trap song that says, let's go to school and study. Study. Let's get that clean money. Money. D-Rock is talking about Miley's because he's trying to be entertaining, but that's not his real life. Popular music has been referencing drugs since even before hip-hop, but now you just hear about Miley's because if you do a song about Miley's, it's popping. And if you go on Worldstar, you'll see a bunch of videos of people who are on Molly's just bugging out. Yeah, and it's every day. I hear crazy stories. Like, my friend had a friend who tried it, and she tried to jump off a building. Um, the video is called Don't Do Drugs. Popping a Molly for the first time gone completely wrong in Philly. <laughs> he's he's, like, he's, like, he's like on the floor. He's like sitting down. He has one shoe off. Word. He's like jittering. Look at his hand. Look at his hand. What do you think? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, he's, he's freaking fucking. out. He feels like so. Oh. I think oh. people in New York aren't doing it because if someone puts out a video of you, it's over for your life. Yeah, they be like, oh, that's that guy that was doing. But it's not like they're not available. I seen Molly sold at parties. That's where most people get them. One day I was in, in your party, Alex, <laughs> with Alex, and, and a guy, he was selling Molly's. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, let me explain. It wasn't exactly my party. It was just a team bash where I was performing at. Just so I can make it clear here. I was with a girl talking, so he came and he touched my, my back. Yo, I'm selling Molly, so I told him I don't use that. And then someone saw him, and he got arrested. The security took him out, and he got in trouble. They arrested him. That's literally the closest any of our friends have gotten to trying Molly. 
But Eric, a student from our school, thinks hip hop has the power to influence and that artists should take some responsibility for their lyrics. The artist could pick what he wants to write about. If he wants to mention Molly's in his song, then he can mention it, but he has to bear the consequences. You know, there's gonna be kids our age or younger that are doing it. You see it on Instagram all the time. You see kids posting up pictures of Molly Water or I'm about to smoke this dirty with my friend or I'm about to do this crazy type of drug. The media influences everything. And there is a real dark side to all the influence that rap can have on people. Yeah, like how the rapper Rick Ross created controversy when he rapped about using Molly to commit rape by putting a Molly in a girl's drink. He ain't need no put Molly all in her champagne. She ain't need no I took her home and I enjoyed that. She ain't need no Do you know anybody that put a Molly in a girl's champagne just to have sexual intercourses with that person? Um, not champagne. But it was alcohol. Yeah, she was kind of messed up in the head. She just blacked out. That's our boy. He knows someone that actually put a molly in a girl's drink. We was at a party um, uptown, and my boy, he seen some girl. She was fronting on him in school. So he was like, yo, watch this. I was like, yo, chill. On the next day, he told me everything. And then I was like, oh, nah. If I would have saw him, I would have told him to stop. That's a real problem with hip-hop. The way it brushes off serious crimes. I think he was influenced by the music. In what way? Um, Like, Rick Ross made it seem like it was okay. That's why he did it. Yeah, I mean, the beat on that Rick Ross song is so relaxed and chill. That thing most people don't even notice what he's really saying. It's almost hypnotic. But I still don't know if music can really influence somebody to do drugs or commit a crime. Yeah, but what about Eric? When he spoke with us, he admitted to being influenced by hip-hop. You know, there's always been weed smoke and drug-related stuff around me. I'm not going to lie to y'all, but I didn't want to do it. You know, I didn't want to smoke weed at first, but then, you know, I like Wiz Khalifa. You know, I love the way he dressed and, you know, I love his music. And the fact that, you know, him and Snoop Dogg get along so well because they smoke weed, you know, I want to be like that. That makes me think rappers do have a big influence on teens. But not all hip-hop is like that. There is a lot of hip-hop out there with positive messages. And some artists like Kendrick Lamar have even spoken out against drugs on MTV News. You know, I, I like trance. You know, in high school we had the button-ups. Mm -hmm. You know, Jay-Z did that. Cool trend. Air Forces. And, and then sometimes you have, you know, the trance that's not that cool. Certain artists, you know, portraying these trends mm -hmm. and don't really have that lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And then it gives off the wrong thing, you know, and it becomes kind of corny after a while. Mm -hmm. It's really about, you know, uh, keeping hip-hop original and, and pushing away the corniness in it. Preach! That's what I'm talking about. It's time to move on from all this Molly talk and keep hip-hop original. Yo, Danny, show them how it's done. Yo, why you always got to put me on the spot like that? You the one talking about keeping it original, so let's hear you spit some balls. Yup, 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 look. I write about this drama movie that I'm living. God give me a reason for my life to be predictive of the future And what is coming along So if you're going through struggles You should listen to our song Happy I lived another day God made it that way Music is my everything I fall on it like a rookie on a skating rink Keep your eyes open Lots can happen when you blink For WNYC, I'm rookie reporter Alex Estevez And I'm rookie reporter Danny Bostic We out <laughs>